Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Tuesday market webcast. Okay, daily chart here just for a bit. You can see support at the daily mid band uh, Thursday and Friday of yesterday, back through the nine day, didn't stop, tried to turn it into resistance. That was after basically spending four sessions just kind of dancing on either side of it. So we're above it now, um, and they're just kind of slow dripping this thing up to 3,300. We didn't see a ton of conviction yesterday in the regular session from either side. It was actually kind of a, just kind of a dull Monday. It had a morning dip about 1030, but then when it got to the point where it could actually go somewhere, it really didn't do a whole heck of a lot. Just kind of chopped around. Uh, they tried to pull it in last night uh, early and they couldn't get it done. They took it up to 3297, then they pulled it in. Um, so it's it's a situation where you know you get here on the hourly chart and it's just from from here here's about where yesterday's where's my nine o'clock bar and right here you know you had your regular session start here and it's just kind of just kind of range bound you saw the spike up a couple looks at the 97s then they knocked it down um, and they're trying to progress that so um I will be interested to see off the open if the bears can continue to uh, press that downside, try to go ahead and do the, the, the weekly low, which right now is 3254.75. You see the weekly pivot down there 45, nine days at 48. Your daily mids way down there at 3222, and then the, uh, the pre-FOMC price at 39, which was pretty important last week. So bottom line, we've been consolidating since the open yesterday. Um, you saw that break to the downside off Europe open. And now you spent the last four going on five hours below the hourly mid band. So there's some potential. As far as the open's concerned, I expect more whip and chop. Uh, you've got volume weighted average price sitting at 84. That hourly mid band there is at 86. Our proprietary moving average is at 78. And your five minute mid band is sitting at 76. So Look, is there enough weakness to progress from here down to the weekly pivot? Sure, there, there is. But the, the catch is the bears have to execute. And it, right now, the bears are in a situation where it's very easy to spook the weak shorts, which is what you saw yesterday, um, you know, in the 1030, 1045. It's very easy to spook the weak shorts, and it's certainly what you saw Friday afternoon when we went and did 15 and then we closed it, you know, 50 handles higher. Um, you spook the weak shorts. They have no confidence in their ability to take the market down. So it literally takes nothing to get them out of their positions. Um, and then you see, you know, you see covering, then you see a little bit of buying. And before you know it, you are much higher than you were before. And what was looking like a decent chance at just even a moderate retracement just kind of goes up in smoke. And I'm not saying, you know, I, I'm not all bulled up here. Um, if I was all, you know, I, I'd be all bowled up if this thing had the ability to take out 3,300 over the last two sessions. It's had every opportunity, especially after the way it ramped up in Globex yesterday. Um, but we're not there. So I think you're seeing a lot of indecision up here around 3,300, and you should. You should see a lot of indecision around 3,300. Um, it's been a good run. You've seen some pullbacks along the way. And I think the Bears are trying to decide if they can defend that, and the Bulls are really unsure of themselves if they can get it up over the top of that and keep it up over the top of that, where the news flow is still very, very uncertain. Not just about COVID, but just about just about everything. COVID and stimulus packages and the election. I mean, you've got a lot going on in the tape. And that's why <clears throat> I had said early on, I continue to maintain, volatility is not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere this year at all. It's not taking a break. It might take the afternoon off like it did yesterday, but that's really about it. We'll consolidate at times, but we won't consolidate for long. And, um, you know, this election cycle is not going to look like the one from four years ago where we basically flatlined for three months and we were sitting around hoping and praying for a five handle range. And some days we got it and some days we didn't. That's not this year. That's not this environment. That is not the geopolitical landscape of what's happening right now. And for traders, that's great news. So off the open, we got to look at 70 on the down. 86 on the up. Um, bulls need to start printing stuff with 33s on it, and they got to hold it. And unless the bears can take out areas that matter, uh, starting with the nine day, 
on a closing basis and on a multi-day basis, dips will continue to be bought and will continue to bleed to higher highs. All right, everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care. Uh, stay out of the way of this uh, tropical storm. Uh, it looks like I'm not gonna be able to stay out of the way of this tropical storm. And I will catch everybody tomorrow trading well. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.